Hello, and welcome to Living Beyond Limits. I believe you all know that I am Reverend Jennifer Spear, and I'm so glad that you are joining us here online today for our very first ever online talk that's being posted for your convenience so you can listen at home. And so we normally start out our Sunday services together, and we're not doing that right now, but one of the things that we do as we begin is that we say hi to the people that are around us. And one of the reasons that we say hi to each other is because it really opens our hearts. And so what I invite you to do right now is if there is someone in your home with you right now, to just say hi to them. And if there's nobody where you are to say hi to your cat or your dog. And if you're alone, to just think of someone in your mind's eye that you love and that you care about, maybe a few people, and just say hi to them and feel how that opens your heart. Hi, everybody. And so today, I'm going to have a very short message and a meditation for you. But before we do that, I'm going to invite David Conant up to do an invocation for us. But before that, let me ring the bell to help you begin to just get centered and settled into yourself and that quiet space inside of you, that space where you can feel and sense the presence of the divine, that place of stillness that place of beingness. I invite you to join me as we invoke spirit here today. I move my consciousness to the very familiar place where I know the truth about the universe, that there is only one source. It is everywhere. It is always with us. It is with us no matter where we go or what we do. And I am grateful that I know for certain the truth about this one source. It is present here today as living beyond limits. We are one with this one source. And it is present here today with all of us in a very, very powerful way. And knowing this, I bless Reverend Jennifer as this divine source manifests through her today out into this service and into our lives in a way that is perfect for each one of us. I bless the practitioners. I bless everyone here I bless all spiritual paths and I say I am so grateful to know this today and I simply say and so it is good morning today's reading is from the science of mind textbook by Ernest Holmes infinite mind is the actor and you are the announcer if you have a vague, subtle, unconscious fear, be quiet and ask yourself, who am I? Who is speaking? What is my life? In this manner, think right back to principle until your thought becomes perfectly clear again. Such is the power of right thinking, that it cancels and erases everything 
unlike itself. It answers every question, solves all problems, and is the solution to every difficulty. It is like the sunlight of eternal truth, bursting through the clouds of obscurity and bathing all life in glory. It is the absolute with which you are dealing. All there really is, is God. And so it is. Thank you, David. And so I am going to read our vision statement that we read together every Sunday morning just to remind us what it is that we are actually doing. It says, we are a sanctuary where people can discover and reveal the presence of God within their own being and experience their oneness with all life. Through the realization of this inner presence of love and peace, we give way to the evolutionary impulse of the divine and become a beneficial presence in the world. So what we are doing here at Living Beyond Limits and what we are creating an opportunity for you to do is to once again reconnect with and to remember to sink back into that place within us that knows that divine presence is right there. Because once we come to recognize that that divine presence is within us, that it is right where we are in its fullness, in its wholeness, in its allness, that that then becomes available to each and every single one of us, the love and the peace and the wholeness and the good that God is. And as we come to recognize that that is right where we are, we then are able to share that. We are then able to bring that out into the world with us and become a beneficial presence in the things that we do and in our relationships and interaction, in our interactions with others. And so I thank you for participating in this and for walking this spiritual path and for discovering your own divine essence within you. Thank you for that. And so like I said today, I have a very short message for you and then we're going to do a meditation that is a relaxation, systematic relaxation meditation followed by a meditation of our own self-nurturance, of our own spiritual nurturance. Because my intention is during this time when we are not meeting together physically that we at Living Beyond Limits support you and allow you to continue to feel spiritually fed and nourished and connected to us and connected to this center and to your own spiritual path. And so we have decided not to hold service, our traditional Sunday service where we're all together, to actually support the health and the well-being of not just our community, but the community at large, the people that are around us and the communities in which we live. And we have made the decision to do this out of love and compassion, out of civic responsibility and out of cooperation with what the state of California is asking us to do. And so as you probably already know, about 80% of people who actually will get the coronavirus will have little or no symptoms whatsoever. And so while we may not ever get sick, and the chances are we probably won't, just being in contact, we have the, the ability to spread that virus to other people who are more vulnerable people who perhaps have compromised immune systems or have challenges with their breathing and their respiratory system. And so our chances of getting sick are actually very slim, but it's still, even that being the truth, it is still so easy to get caught up in the collective fear that is going around us all over the place right now. We are being bombarded by the news everywhere we look and speculation of people, whether they're our neighbors or our coworkers of what this means and where it's going and what's gonna happen, that collective fear, it seems like it's the only thing that people are really talking about today. And along with that, stories that are not even true and some of those things we don't know what is true and what isn't true. So it's really easy to get caught up in that. And I don't know if you've been out into the world lately, but if you drive by a grocery store or go into a grocery store, they're a madhouse filled with people and the toilet paper is gone and the pasta shelves are empty and there's no water and 
Ray Bunch even went to buy a thermometer the other day and there are no thermometers in the store to be had. And so it's really challenging not to get caught up in the fear and the worry while this is going around all around us right now. And so what we really want though, each and every single one of us, I know it's what you want and what I want is to move through this time with a sense of peace, to move through this time with a sense of calm, to move through this time with a sense of ease and to know that we are safe and to know that we are secure and to know that truly all is well. And of course, on top of that, we want to move through this time with our health. One of my favorite quotes from Gandhi about peace, one of my all-time favorite quotes about peace, he says, each one of us has to find their peace within. And peace, to be real, must be unaffected by outside circumstances. For peace to be real, it must be unaffected by outside circumstances. That means that you and I, we are responsible for our own peace. We are responsible to create peace within ourselves. And so one of the things that is really good about that is we don't have to go looking for peace. Peace already is. It's already right where we are, is all we have to do is tap into it is all we have to do is to get quiet and tap into that peace within us. Because what happens is when we are peaceful, our immune systems function better. When we are peaceful, we make better choices. When we are peaceful, we think more clearly. When we are peaceful, we actually have access to the wisdom of the universe that lives within us. And then, that wisdom can guide us from a place of calm and a place of safety and a place of security. When we are in fear though, fear takes a toll on our bodies. And you all probably know it's called the stress response. And so that stress response occurs whenever we find ourselves in a situation that is stressful. Whether it's a looming deadline ahead of you, perhaps at work, or whether it's a persistent worry about something, like a child, or perhaps that you're going to lose your job, whether it's a family difficulty, and certainly this stress response is created by the stress that is going on all around us with the fear around the coronavirus. And so that stress response creates a fight or flight syndrome within us. That fight or flight syndrome is meant to dump chemicals into our bodies to give us the energy and the quickness to actually outrun the lion that's chasing us. It's not meant to continue to stay in our bodies day after day after day. That ongoing stress response when we're living in a stressful situation like this elevates our blood pressure and it lowers our immune system and it changes our brain function which in turn creates anxiety and depression and addiction. So the counterpart to that stress response is the relaxation response. That relaxation response actually turns off the stress response. It turns off the fight or flight response. And instead, it places our bodies in a place of equilibrium. And when our bodies are in equilibrium, it allows our immune systems to function at their best. It allows our immune systems to be at optimal range and health. And so when we are in that relaxation response, it creates peace and it creates health. And so today we're going to do a systematic relaxation exercise that is followed by a meditation on self-nurturing. And I'm sharing those with you as a way to help you release that stress during this time. And the title of my talk today is Drop the Anchor. I'm giving you a tool so that you can drop the anchor within your own being and find your own peace and your own calm so therefore you can be clear and make the clearest decisions and do it from a place of wholeness and a place of power and a place of peace. And so I invite you then just to settle into yourself a little bit so that you find that place of stillness. 
so that you find that place of ease. And so I invite you just to begin to become quiet and to settle into yourself and to close your eyes and to set your hands on your thighs, to have your feet firmly planted on the ground. And you can have your palms down if you want to contain the energy within yourself, or you can have your palms up if you want to be open to the energy of the universe. And so I invite you just for a moment to breathe in slowly, to breathe in through your nostrils, slowly and easily. That sends a message to your body to relax. Breathing in slowly and exhaling slowly. And now just let your breathing return to normal, to a nice, easy breath. And as I call out the different parts of your body, the different areas of your body, I invite you to bring your attention to that area of your body and to say to yourself, relax, as you focus on that particular area of your body. And so relax your forehead. And relax your eyes. And relax your cheeks. Relax your ears. And relax your mouth and your tongue. Relax your jaw. And relax the muscles in your neck. Allow your shoulders to just melt down away from your ears. Allow your chest to relax. And feel your belly let go. and feel yourself supported in your seat. Supported by the universe. And allow your right leg to let go all the way from your hip to your toes. And relax your left leg all the way from your hip to your toes. And let your arms hang loosely by your sides. Your hands and your fingers letting go. And notice that your whole body is relaxed. That your whole body is still. And just rest there for a moment.
here, supported in this chair. Fully present, fully relaxed, perfectly safe. All is well. And now take your right hand and place it over your heart. And say to yourself, or out loud if you'd prefer, say to yourself, may I be peaceful. May I be happy. May I be light in body. May I be peaceful. May I be happy. May I be light in body. May I be safe. May I be free from injury. May I be safe. May I be free from injury. May I be free from anger. May I be free from afflictions. May I be free from fear. May I be free from anxiety. May I be free from anger. May I be free from afflictions. May I be free from fear. May I be free from anxiety. And now, may, will you release your hand from over your heart and place it in your lap? And see yourself standing in front of you in your mind's eye. And to yourself that's standing in front of you, say to that self in your mind, may you be free from anxiety. May you be free from fear. May you be peaceful. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be peaceful. May you be happy. May you be safe. And so I invite you to let that image go and to begin to bring your awareness back into this room, you can wiggle your fingers and your toes and maybe circle your wrists, circle your ankles and <sighs> and bring your attention back to here. 
And so my invitation for you is to do that daily. You can come back and do it through this recording that's here, or you can do that on your own to do that systematic relaxation to bring on that relaxation response, to bring health and peace and a sense of well-being, and to love yourself, to bring that sense of peace to yourself during this time of chaos that's going on around us. So I invite you to do that daily and daily to step out of the fear. Ernest Holmes, who is the founder of this philosophy, says, fear is a belief in limitation, a denial that the divine is at the center and is the source of all good. My invitation is to remember that, that the presence of God is right where you are at every single moment in your life, that it walks with you, that you walk in it, that it guides you and leads you and keeps you safe and makes the way open to remember that, that God is where you are, to know that that love intelligence from whence you came is the very nature of your life, to know that it supports you and guides you, that you are safe, that it is expressing within you as perfection and as wholeness so that you might walk through this time with power and with ease. And so wash your hands and don't touch your face and clean your doorknobs if that's what you need to do and love yourself and be kind to yourself and do the things that feel nurturing and that make you feel filled up and make you feel happy and make you feel at ease and that includes turning off the news. Nurture yourself. Unplug from the media around the coronavirus and rest in the presence that is right where you are. And so blessings to you on this path of self-discovery and remembering who you are and remembering whose you are. So blessings to you. And so I invite you to join me in an affirmative prayer. And so we just take our attention to that truth. That yes, indeed, we do live and move and have our beingness within this one presence and this one power. It is the only presence and it is the only power that exists in this universe. And that it is for us. It is for life and it is for our thriving. It is for our flourishing it is for our unfolding, it is for our good, and that it is an infinite source of good, good of every kind that we can imagine, and it is unfolding itself right now, that that good is unfolding itself all around us and within us, and that it is unfolding within us as peace, as doorbells, as wholeness, as ease, that it leads us and guides us so that we are safe and that we are secure. And it goes before us so everywhere we go, we bring our light and we shine that light in the world. And so I send out this blessing to each and every person who is listening and to each and every person in this world. I speak this word for every single decision maker and policy maker and person who is working in our health care system right now, knowing that they are acting as the hands and feet of God, that healing is happening all over the place, that perfect decisions are made by those policy makers so that we may all be safe and secure and be here with each other to express this oneness of this human family. And so it is with that that I release this spoken word into that infinite law that always acts upon my word. I say yes, the law says yes, and God says yes. And so I rest in that truth with faith and with confidence and in gratitude. And I say, and so it is. 
Thank you. And so thank you for being here with us today. And I want to let you know that we have some things planned so that we can maintain a sense of connection with each other. And one of the things that we're doing is we have a Zoom call planned for Thursday night at 7 p.m. We will be sending you an email that will tell you more about that so we can all log on and be together and do some spiritual practice together and be in the company of each other. If we do not have your email address at Living Beyond Limits, would you please send us your email address? It is lbl-csl.org. That is our website. Our email address is livingbeyondlimitscsl at gmail.com. So we look forward to hearing from you. And we would still love it if you support us. So there is a donate button on our website that you can continue to support. It's down at the bottom of the page, the landing page, so that you can continue to support Living Beyond Limits as we continue to support you. And we look so forward to being back together again in person and hugging and loving each other and supporting each other. So until then, I will be seeing you on video. Love to all of you. Goodbye. Small.